Oh, and one more thing. In case you guys are wondering why you should take the time to fully level your bed, it's because of this bottom layer. Oh man, take a look at that. Hey everyone, in a previous episode, you saw me build this, an extruder designed for flexible filaments. And we tried out some Ninja Flex, and saw the potential of flexible filaments on 3D printers. Well, Ninja Flex isn't the only flexible filaments, so I picked up some Filiflex, which is another type of flexible filaments. Um, it has a little uh, different properties than Ninja Flex. You can see me and its reflection right there. Hello. But it has some different uh, properties from Ninja Flex. So I thought that I'd pick some up and we can give it a try to see what the differences are between Filiflex and Ninja Flex. So I have it unwrapped and my first impressions are it feels very much like rubber. It is a completely different feel than Ninja Flex. Ninja Flex, the filament kind of felt chalky. This one feels just like rubber. It feels like a, a rubber band or a piece of like rubber belt from a car or something like that. It's very stretchy and it's a very smooth feel. It doesn't have any chalk like the, the Ninja Flex did. So that will be interesting. But yeah, this stuff is really stretchy. I can stretch it you know, as much as I think, and it's not breaking, it's not stripping or anything like that. So this will be a very interesting material to try to 3D print with. So I have my first print with the Filiflex here. It's the same 20 millimeter uh, calibration cube with 20% infill, the same one that I did with the Ninja Flex. And you can see that besides some troubles with the first couple of layers uh, due to my bed not being level, I must have smacked that when I was changing the filaments out, but besides those first couple layers, everything else is printing pretty smoothly. Uh, there's some issues with the lower right corner, um, that's the corner where it changes the axis and it looks like there's some ooze there, and it looks like I may have to bump up the extrusion multiplier just a teeny bit more than I had to with the Ninja Flex. Um, so I have some calibration to do, but not a whole lot. So uh, let me finish this print, and we'll see how it compares to the Ninja Flex. So the first one failed about, I don't know, 75% of the way through. Uh, it turns out that this stuff is really difficult to print, and uh, some of the filaments got jammed in the hot ends. So after the drive bolts, you know, where I added the, the Teflon tubing to kind of prevent that. Apparently there's still enough space for this to get sucked under the hot bolts and get into the space underneath there. So I'm gonna have to like bump up where the liner is and really push it against the hot bolt so there's n absolutely no space for this filament to get jammed in there. So yeah, about 75% of the way through, uh, it, I look over and it it's just printing into air. No, no filaments coming out. Um, the motor's trying to turn, but the gear was just kind of stuck because there is a, a kink with the filaments. So hopefully, this one will turn out better, and I'll actually have something to compare it to. So, let's wait for this one to finish. As I was printing the Filiflex, I realized that the model was not cooling down fast enough. This Filiflex is really oozy, and it was getting tough to maintain quality prints. So I went on to Thingiverse and I found this cooling fan that attaches directly to the Maker Farm. And it uses a 40mm fan to push air onto the uh, object after it's been printed. What I'm hoping this will do is it'll allow the Filiflex to cool down and it'll stop it from oozing everywhere and hopefully give me higher quality prints. So I just downloaded the model and printed it out using my classic orange filaments and attached it to the printer. So now, let's see how that affects the quality of the Filiflex prints. So here's the first print with the fan going. You can see I have the fan all hooked up, and it's all connected, and I'm just printing another calibration cube using some of the Filiflex. And I really think that the fan is going to help the quality of this print dramatically. So we'll have to wait, of course, until this finishes, and I can compare it to my other calibration cubes. But you can see that it's currently uh, blowing on the prints, I have slicer set up so that if the layer time is under 30 seconds, then the fan's on full blast. And if it's under 60 seconds, it's, you know, kind of on, but with a certain percentage. But since these are really small layers, the fan's just blowing full blast. So the print just finished. On the left here, I have the print that just came off the print bed uh, that had the fan going the entire time. 
And on the right, I have my uh, the last best calibration prints before I put the fan on. And I can tell you guys that the fan makes such a big difference. So first I'm going to point out is the, top, the quality of the top layer here. So this is a completely hollow uh, model. There's no infill whatsoever. So these top layers are just printed over nothing. It just prints in air, and then the layers eventually build on themselves. And there's five layers on here. So you can see that without the fan going, the Filiflex just oozed everywhere and it left quite a uh, dimple in the top and there's just you can't even tell that it's supposed to be solid you can see right through it it's pretty bad but with the fan going that allowed the filament to solidify and it allowed that bridging that printing over nothing to work a lot better so you can see that with five top layers the top is almost completely solid one more and you wouldn't have been able to tell that this was bridging which is amazing for flexible filament you know i can squeeze this and bend this however so that fan makes a dramatic difference. And you can see even just on the, the side, the quality of the side there, it looks really good. There's not that much oozing. It's a much more consistent surface with the fan. So if you're printing something with flexible filaments or PLA, something that can you know withstand being cooled down, this fan is going to make a world of difference in print quality. I probably wouldn't recommend this and I probably won't use it myself for ABS because ABS tends to warp if it's not cooled consistently. But if you're using PLA or flexible filaments, play around with adding a fan to cool your prints. It might make the world of difference. Oh, and one more thing. In case you guys are wondering why you should take the time to fully level your bed, it's because of this bottom layer. Oh man. Take a look at that. You can't tell that there's anything going on with that bottom layer. It's so smooth and so shiny. Yeah, man, Filiflex, gotta love it. And that's it for today. I hope you guys enjoyed watching me modify my printer. It's going to make a world of difference with the quality of my prints and the consistency of my prints. And they're pretty easy to do, especially when you're printing the parts on your own 3D printer for your 3D printer. I just think that's amazing. So again, thank you guys for watching. Be sure to like the video if you liked the video, and leave a comment down below if you have ideas for other projects, or you just like what you're watching. That always helps as well. <laughs> I'll see you guys next time. Thank you for watching Hoffman Engineering.